Hello, this is the exam four review for uh, Agile 1, Spring 2018. So this is all the uh, free answer parts. So uh, we're starting on an alkene, so turn on E and Z. So remember, uh, with these we're looking at the high life, low priority on the carbon on this side of the double bond versus the high low priority on the carbon for this one, uh, this side. So you can actually go ahead and split it, just a reminder. So for this carbon, right, we have a chlorine versus a nitrogen. Chlorine is heavier than nitrogen, right, so this is going to be a higher priority. Here, right, we have a, um, a carbon versus a carbon. Right, that's a tie, so we're going to have to look at the bond. Um, this is a, a CH2, this is a CH3. Right, something like that. So for this one, um, it has two carbon-carbon bonds, two CH bonds. Remember, we're using the same priority rules as R and S. Um, and again, for this one, it's two carbon carbon, two carbon carbon. Right, so it's a tie. So what we do is we then come in and we say, okay, what about this one versus that one? Right, this is a CH2 versus a CH3. Right, this one has two carbon carbon bonds, two CH. This one has one carbon carbon bond, three CH. Right, it's a tie on the heaviest bond, but this one has more of them. So this is going to be. Uh, so, but that since the highs are on the same side, they are on the same side, it's a Z configuration. Okay, so you will have um, an E1 or E2 mechanism like that. So it'll be something like this. I'll give you the, the starting materials, give you the product, tell you if it's E1 or E2, and that's the mechanism you draw. So the first step in all of the ones, it will be S1 or E1, is this the, uh, the leading group. So um, from there, we're going to have that. So of course, we are minus. And then from here, it's going to be, you know, in this case, it doesn't matter. Well, let's, let's do it here so it's consistent. Right? This is, right, that's a CH3. Right? There's still three CH3s here. Um, the base is going to come in here, grab the hydrogen. Oh, that's the plus charge thing. That is going to collapse there, and there you go. Okay, so we're going to make the double bond there. This hydrogen becomes um, the hydrogen here to make methanol. Um, obviously, that is that. You're, you're making the double bond. So the electrons in this CH bond are the ones that make the double bond. So you get either E1 or E2. You're also going to get a, um, a mechanism where you get a methyl or a hydride shift. Here and again, it's going to be an E1 mechanism where, again, first thing that happens with all of these is the leaving group leaves. Okay, so the CH2 here. Now, if you're, um, if you're wondering you know, what you're going to need to do, is normally the, um, the double bond would be here. But notice how it's there. Okay? So, what's going to happen is you uh, one of the things that you can do is go ahead and draw on the hydrogens. I guess I'm going to run ahead of myself. Uh, right here, there's three bond charms, so there's a hydrogen here. And there's a CH2. Over here, notice how this is a CH3. Right? There's only one bond shown. All four bonds are shown here, so there's no more H's. Here, there's only one, one hydrogen left. So how are we going to get a, a third hydrogen onto here? Because right? it goes from a CH2 to a CH3 easiest way to do that okay, is to move this hydrogen over here. Now I know this isn't going to be very because it's a primary uh, um, color cation, but it could work. Okay, so the uh, so this ends up being the CH2, right? And then there's a third one. This one didn't go, so it's the CH3. So that goes there. Said this was a CH2 here. So the base is then going to come in. Uh, one of these long pairs. Come in here. Grab that hydrogen. And that, those electrons are going to go there. And so you're going to end up with that product. So you have to recognize um, the fact that you have a hydrogen moving over here. And if you count, if you count hydrogens, be sure to put those in. Because it might give you a hint as to how things are moving around. Right? We're going in from a CH2 to a CH3, right? So this thing has to gain a, a hydrogen, so the E2 
because he's supposed to do that as the ship went out. Now for E2 and cyclohexane, the big thing to remember is that the bromine, um, the bromine has to be axial. And then next door, in order to be able to do uh, to do the E2 mechanism, you have to have a hydrogen um, right next door. So, so for here, notice how this is axial. So the way that we have to, um, or excuse me, it's equatorial, right? Because the double bonds are pointed down, so there's a hydrogen here. Because it is, um, that's axial. So that does, we need to get that axial. So in order to do that, you have to cap the chair flip. Like that. And so this is axial, so it's going to go equatorial. Okay. So we have CHs on, on both sides. There's a CH there. Alright, so now your bromine is, um, is axial. So if you look on this side, right, there's an axial hydrogen here. So if this goes grabs that, collapses down, takes that away. So you're going to end up with the double bond there. If you end up with, um, if instead it grabs that hydrogen, that's going to collapse down. It's going to kick away right here. But the big thing to remember is that you have to do make sure that this bromine you're leaving for is axial position. In order for this to go, you have to have you have to look at the adjacent carbons here and here and make sure that there are there's at least one axial hydrogen bond. Make sure that there's an axial hydrogen. So I'm gonna end up with that. Right, this, this is where the original leaving group is, right? So in this case we have there's a CH2 on both sides, so we're going to have an axial hydrogen, and so it's going on the other side, the left side and the right side. Okay, so for a design of synthesis, okay, you're going to have to pick the carbons from this list. You can use anything else you want. So the thing to do is to figure out, okay, here's the here's the alkyl, mm -hmm. and so what we need to do is is so that would represent one of these two. Remember, with the um, to make this bond, right, we have to rip off a hydrogen. So if we use this, use this one when we um, to make the uh, with uh, sodium amide, right? It's going to be this carbon that connects there, and so you'd have a CH three hanging off of this side on the other side. That's not what we want. We want just a regular hydrogen. So we have to use this one here, and so. Settling, put it with sodium amide to make this. Right, so that's these two carbons here. So we also need to have a two, another two carbon piece where we, where we use these electrons to make that bond there. Okay, so we need a two carbon piece, which would be right here. Okay, right, so two carbon piece. So if we dump in ethyl bromide here, you would end up with this and five. So it's this bond that we have. Right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. So these are reactions to know. So we know uh, the alkynes and if you and, and alkenes as well. If you take these and, and put the um, hydrogenate them completely, um, you go to it'll convert this all the way down to a to a carbon couple single bond. If instead you use a Lindler catalyst or palladium or thorium sulfate, again you're going to get the hydrogens. It's a uh, syn addition, but you get them onto the same side, right? so you're going to end up with these cis product, right? Because the hydrogens go on the same side. If you use lithium ammonium or, or sodium ammonia. Going to get you're going to get the trans version. This is just um, talking about the, the stuff we just uh, on the previous slide. So just know what's going on with the uh, triple bonds in this case. Because okay. if we ask about this, right, so that's so an E2 reaction, right? In order for this to happen, um, right, you have to have a uh, 
hydrogen here. Okay? So you look on this side, you look on that side, okay? you look on this side. So the bit, so if the if the base comes in and reacts, perhaps down. This product. Okay. Now you could make this product when you grab this hydrogen, but that's these two are the same. This is just flipped. Okay, so it's the same product. The other way that you could do this is to take, grab one of these hydrogens, have that collapse with that one, and you end up with that product there. Okay, because you're making the double bond there. Now you want to look this and say, okay, you get both of these products, but which one's the major? Okay, so with here, this carbon it has two bonds. Both of its bonds are shown, so there's double carbon. Here, only one of them is shown, and so there's one hydrogen. So uh, there's one hydrogen on the double bond. Here, both of these are shown, uh, but here, neither one of them is shown. So there's two hydrogens on here. Um, right, you want to minimize the number of hydrogens that are on the double bond. Okay, so this is gonna this has one fewer, right? So this is gonna be one fewer. Now for here, okay, we have excess um, hydrogen, but we have our um, poisons catalyst. So it's going to um, it's gonna go to a double bond, but it's going to add those hydrogens um, on the same side. So you're gonna end up with you're gonna end up with cis double bond. Right? You don't have to draw the hydrogens, but just to show you. Okay, so to get on to the, the carbohydrate part, okay, so we're going to so classify these. Um, we're looking for like aldotriose or keto octose. So we're going to have to indicate that if it's an aldose, if it's an aldehyde, if it's a ketose, you can say keto. Right? So, it's, so if it's an aldose, you'd say aldo. If it's a ketose, you'd, you'd say keto. And then it, figure out how many carbons you have. Just looking at carbons. Okay, and so for this one here, okay, so. This is a ketone, right? Because it, um, if carbonyl, ketone bond O, there's carbons on either side, so look at that. So it'd be keto. And then to look, count the carbon. So one, two. Don't forget the one here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? You can count that one. So it'd be a keto heptose because there's seven. Okay. For here, there's an aldehyde, right? Because so it'd be an aldo. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's an aldo hexose. And I'm going to give you this chart. You're going to have to remember keto and aldo. Um, but this chart I'll give, I'll give you. Okay, so remember for the DNL, for the straight chain like this, for the Fischer projection, all you got to do is look at the, the, the last chiral center on the chain, which is usually one up. So here, here, or here. If it's D, it's pointed that way. If it's L, it's pointed to the left. Okay. This one's to the right, this one's to the left. So here it's pointed to the right, so it's D. This one's pointed to the left, so it's L. This one's pointed to the right, it's D. Doesn't matter about any of these other ones. Okay. Now for here, okay, what you're looking at is this carbon group that's sticking out. Okay, if it's if it's below, it's L. If it's above, it's D. Right? So it's a um, below the um, below the ring, so it's so this is the L sugar. Here it's above the ring, so it's a D sugar. That's it. So to draw the L forms of sugar, really what I'm so these are the D forms. We're just looking at the um, the enantiomer, and so it's these right here that we have to flip. Okay, and so you, know, you can flip these if you want. Um, sometimes it's a little easier to remember. And so these would be so left, left, right. So it ends up doing right. This one, right? It's these in the middle, the chiral centers that we have to flip. So right, left, right. So we need to go left, right, left. That's it. Okay, now for the two more difficult um, synthesis ones. So you're gonna start from diarabinose. Okay, what sugars are, are made? So remember, you have to make you have to make two. Let's find diarabinose here, which is again, I'm gonna give you this chart. Um, you have to find it here, so, so it's okay, so 
Okay, that's the arabicus. So you're gonna find you have to find this. Okay. For the Kiliani Smith, right, you're gonna extend this out. And this is where our new we're gonna extend the chain out one, and then this becomes an OH. But half the time it's on it's on that side. This one here, half the time it's on the left, half the time it's on the right. So you're making two different triggers. And so you end up with half the time. The other half of the time, it goes this way. Everything else stays the same. Okay. So all of this, all of that stays the same. It's just this part here, which was originally where the aldehyde was. Half the time goes, the OH goes on one side, the other half. There has to be this there. So we got to find these on the map or down here in the chart. So this is deep glucose. And I think this is mannose. Yep, mannose. Yeah. There we go. Now for a roll de degradation, okay, we're, we're chopping off the, the top carbon making that new one the aldehyde. Okay, so we have to find galactose on here, so it's here. So okay, so it's the galactose. After the bowl degradation, what's happened is this has gotten chopped off, that very top carbon, and then now this one, this one here becomes the, uh, um, the new aldehyde, and so you end up with this. Okay, so this carbon here is this carbon there. Okay, so we have to remove it a little bit. That ends up being Last up, linkage analysis. Okay. So remember, the uh, um, if it's going down, okay, it's alpha. If it's going up, it's beta. It's going from left to right. Okay. So if you want to do the numbering, right, we've got a six um, a six membered ring, right? We have a six carbon sugar. So this one's going to be six. So six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Here is another one, right? So we've got the six membered ring. Right? Six carbon sugar, so six, five, four, three, two, one. Same goes here. Right? Six, five, four, three, two, one. If you if you're coming around here and you end up with two, um, you probably miss this one or that. One. Don't count the don't count the oxygen. Right? We're just counting carbon. And then lastly, um, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So for this sugar. So for this linkage here, we're only interested in those two sugars. That's all we care about. Okay, so from left to right, okay, the bond is going down. Okay, so it's going to be alpha. And it's going from 1 on this side to carbon 6 on this side. So it's an alpha 1, 6. So for this linkage here, we only, we're only concerned about these two sugars. So, like I said, so notice how the bond from left to right, from the left-hand sugar, it's going up. So it's a beta, so beta one four. Okay. Now for this linkage, we only really care about these two sugars. And notice how this one's left to this, so we have to go. Um, so we have to be concerned about this one, and it's going down, right? Because it's going from left to right. Okay, so it's um, so it's in fact an alpha two six. Well